Hey, what's up? This is Ken Beckford here, and I want to talk to you about what I feel, or I know rather, is the best legal hustle that you can have right now. And before I even get into that, let me just let you know that I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm in my mid to late 30s, and I've done some things in my life that I felt that I probably had to do to get through, to get to where I am today. Although, I particularly did not really want to go go there, right? Like, I used to hustle. And those of you who are watching this video, you know what type of hustling I mean. I'm talking about hustling drugs, right? And I was in, in a situation where I was homeless. And I was hanging out with some friends of mine because, you know, I was homeless, but I had a couple of dollars in my pocket because I, I, I recently, like, I had a job, and then I was displaced. You know, I was staying with some family, and one of my uh, my family members was, was in a relationship with someone who just didn't like me, right? And they wanted her to get me out of there, right? And she came to me, you know, she was very sad, and she was like, you know, I'm looking for somewhere for you to go until you're able to get your own place because I had moved to uh, to live with her and I was working, I, I had a job, but I said, you know what, cuz, don't even worry about that. I'm gonna, you know, make it on my own. Like, I had some money, I would always give her money and so forth and so on. And so I took the monies that I had and I went back to the city of New York. You know, I was out of the town and I went back to New York City and just decided to just find my way, you know, because if I could make it in New York, I could make it anywhere, right? So uh, fast forward a little bit, you know, I'm hanging out with friends night after night and these guys that I knew, they were hustling, right? I'm from Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. And like Biggie Smalls once said, it's either you have, you sling crack rock or you have a wicked jump shot, right? That's just what it is, you know? I could even remember a time when I was in another area in the U.S. where uh, uh, someone had asked me, where are you from? And I said, I'm from Brooklyn. And they were like, oh my gosh. Like, like Brooklyn was like just the worst place ever, right? But to some people, it's a crazy, crazy place, right? And for me at the time, you know, I had to do what I had to do. And uh, so after me being like lamping in hallways, you know, night after night, a couple of guys were like, yo, dude, what are you doing? Like, this is not you. This is not what we know you to be. So, they like, come in. And he took me to someone else that I knew who pretty much had an operation. Something like, if you ever watched New Jack, New Jack City, you know, people have the operations intact and they found a position for me working in this operation. And so, that's what I did. I did this really not because I wanted to, more or less because I had to. And to fast forward to after that fact, where that operation was no longer, that this was a way that I was able to take care of myself, right? I still had some connections with the users. So I was still doing my thing in that regard. And fast forward to more, I really didn't like what I was doing and I was having a conversation with a friend of mine and I was saying to her like, yo, you know what? This is it for me. I'm done with this. I'm really, really not happy with my life. I don't like doing this. So this is it. I'm done. Right. And, uh, you know, I really wanted to just hang out and have fun and, 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 and look for a better way out of life because this was like a vicious cycle to me. Like it was never ending. No matter how much money I made, there was always a problem. There was, it was always something, you know, and it's like no easy way out. It was like I had to just force my way out. Right. And so after speaking with this friend, I spoke to another friend and I was telling her the same thing. Right. And it just so happened that night while I was on the phone with that friend that there was a car, like a minivan, with a guy, he had like dreads, but he was just staring at me like, hey, you know, you're from Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, and you see an unfamiliar face in your neighborhood on your block, and they're staring at you like, like, like you're crazy. You're gonna stare back at them like they're crazy. So that's what I did. Uh, I had a slice of pizza in my hand at the time, and I was on the phone, and I'm staring at this guy like he crazy, like he looking at me for. You know, and this is while I was, quote unquote, working, working on the block, you know, making my sales, this and then that, this and then that third. And I just actually went to go get a slice of pizza. And this guy jumps out 
on me, not just him, but the lady on the other passenger side of the car jumped out and they were undercover police. And so they searched me down, searched me down, searched me down, searched me down. And I made all kind of uh, pleas to like, you know, leave me alone. Like this is my old block, like my little cousin's across the street and this is embarrassing and I'm not doing anything. Like, you know, and eventually, you know, they called another uh, car and you know, the officers in there were like, you sure he's clean? Like, you sure? And then they eventually found uh, my stash and I was arrested, right? And this was 2000. Five, I was arrested and I was released like a, a few days later and I had having to go to court, having to go to court, having to go to court and I would miss my court dates because my situation had not really improved. I was still homeless and I would miss my court dates and I would go back and rectify the situation and get a new date set. But this one time I was, uh, out late at night and I was walking from Bedstad to Fort Greene, which is really not that long of a walk if you're used to walking and things of that nature. And I got to, uh, from, from Nostra Nav, I was walking downtown towards, uh, let's just say, uh, towards like downtown Brooklyn, towards the clock, if you're familiar with downtown Brooklyn, towards that area. But I got to Franklin Ave, which is about two, three blocks down from Nostra, and an undercover car pulls up in front of me. Now I knew they were undercover, but I decided to like, you know, walk around the car, but they wouldn't allow me to. And they, you know, they proceeded to ask me questions and I opened my mouth, which I probably should not have done. And I was talking to them, talking back and forth. And they asked me for my ID and they asked me if I had a warrant. And I told them I had a warrant, but you know, that I usually go and, and, and uh, get a new court date and they weren't hearing it. So they took me down to the, to the, to the courthouse to the bookings and then uh, from there I went to the judge and the judge just didn't want to hear it he was like you're going to get locked up and this was a year later from the time that I was originally locked up it's October 5th or October 6th of 2005 and this was October 6th of 2006 where I was arrested and actually had to do a year in jail and uh, now I have a felony on my record and so you know it's not the easiest thing to do to get a job, right? But what I have been able to do is what I want to share with you all, which is why I want you to click the link below this video and go to my blog where I will share with you via audio or video exactly what I've been able to do, right, to create income for myself today in 2014. Not have to worry about this felony on my record, and I have to worry about ever being homeless again. And I have to worry about being on welfare again or any of these things, right? I'm very happy and blessed and grateful that I'm able to share this with you because if you were like me or are like me and, you know, you have a thousand hustles, you're, you're, but you're, you're like, you're tired of running the streets and you want a way, a legal way to make money, a legal hustle, then click the link below and... Watch the next video. Thank you for watching. Salute.